So the second question is 6.6 .6 whole square minus 3.4 square. Now again you will observe here. Here we can use the identity. Okay, normal method also work. It will also give the same answer. But once we learn the identity, you have to be used identity only. Okay, so 6.8. So same identity will use it. A square minus B square. A square minus B square identity is A plus B, A minus B. Here, what is your A? Here, A is your 6.6, .6, yes. And B is 3.4. Now, substitute in, uh, in your identity. So, A is 6.6 .6 plus 3.4. The second is 6.6 .6 minus 3.4. Now, add and subtract. Do it first. 6.6 .6 plus 3.4 will be? 3.2. No, add, add. Oh, first. Yeah, first do the addition. It's, uh, it's going to be 10? 10. Yes. 10 times 6.6 .6 minus 3.4 is? 3.2. Okay, so when you multiply this, you will get 32. See, 32 is the final answer. Okay, or 10.0, you can write it 10 on B. 10 times 3.2, this is also give the 32. So, both are the correct variation, okay. But yes, if you use identity, you can see the difference of the you can do the question within a second. Within a second. Even once you will do practice the same type of question, you can do it orally. So it's a very easy when you use the identity. If you use the normal method like, you know, 6.6. .6, so if you multiply 6.6 .6 times 6.6 .6 or subtract 3.4 times 3.4, this will also give the same answer, 32. But it will take time and it's a lengthy method. So don't go for that, okay?